Hi. Um, I'm not sure whether this is going to be quite a short video or quite a long video. I suppose it depends on on who we get along. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about sort of my excitement for the for the BTS. Let me just get a drink for the BTS tomorrow because I am really really excited about it. Uh, Saturday. I am really excited about it, and uh, I just would like to hear other people's experiences and and see how what they enjoyed about it, what they bought, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. So <laughs> let's see if anybody uh, comes along. Whether they do, um, I'm not a very popular streamer on um, on YouTube, I'm, so it could well not be. But but yeah, as I say, I just wanted to to talk to a few people about what their experiences was and and what and and if they, if you're going. I'd love to know what you're going to buy, what, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, I will be going down, or so rather myself and my husband will be going down sort of the night before. Um, and we'll be going to the um, Holiday Inn for the pre-drinks. So if you see me there, then say hello. Don't be afraid to say hello. I'll be terrified to say hello to other people. So I'd really appreciate if if you see me if you just sort of say hi that would be really nice so I've kind of got a few things that I want to have on my list um, the main thing that I that I definitely want hi Kat how are you <laughs> Glad to th thank you for joining us. It's really nice to see you. Um, so yeah, the, the the main thing that the top of my list, and probably a lot of people think it's really sad, because um, it's not really anything sort of it's really glamorous or really rare or really expensive. But what I really want to pick up is a sub adult or juvenile female Lassiodora para hibana. Um, so that's at the top of the list. That is what I must come home with. I don't think <laughs> I don't think I'll have too much um with that. Um yes, yeah, cat. So yeah, um so the additions that I'm really looking for, um me personally, so I've got a bit of a list. Um of the, the priority is the para high banner. But I also um I'm a big fan of the dwarf tarantulas, I really like those. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out on uh, for any uh, homeomas, the previous, what were the Euathlus, or people knew as the Euathlus anyway. Um, then, so there's that, and I want a, a Co Cochiana Br piece. Yeah, I really want, <laughs> really want one of those. Um, the other thing that I have on my list is I have um, a Brachypelmy oratum, a female one. I've got a mate, well, I've got a, a, a juvenile, but I'm pretty sure it's male. So I'd really like to pick up a female of that. Um, I'd like to pick up another arboreal, preferably a, a female um, carabina or the um, avicularia. Avicularia, avicular, however you say it, avicularia. Um, so yeah, um, something that's sort of um, the pink toe I think looks quite nice. But then Mark Tarantulas, and I don't know whether you've seen his video. He got a um, oh no, what was it called? Amazonica. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so fluffy, and the fluffier a tarantula is, the more I like them. It's just they're just adorable. Um, so yeah, so so that's my. And then I'm just kind of going to have a look and see what else is. It, what else is available because I I haven't really got a plan of kind of what I want um, I'm, I'm thinking of um, getting some beetles and maybe some millipedes because I really like tarantula addicts um, uh, bioactive setup 
so a nice foresty sort of floor kind of thing. Oh, yeah, so you're also on the hunt of a key burner piece. Yeah, they're, they're so nice, aren't they? Um, I've got a few of the, the homeomas, but I just don't think you can have enough. I just think they're absolutely adorable. So I'm not after something that's a um like a a pet haul. Um but the other thing I'm hoping to pick up is I'm also hoping to pick up a couple of slings that I can um give away for my 250 subscriber giveaway. Um I think last time I gave away some Madagascan hissing cockroaches, but this time I'm gonna step it up a bit and do a couple of slings. Um, so I'm going to get something that sort of basically anybody can can use so um, that there shouldn't be any sort of problems taking care of them or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Last year I went to the Huddersfield, the Northern Invert Show and I think I came away with five, no, no, I didn't come away with five. I came away with seven tarantulas then. Um, I think five of them were black palmers, and some of them have turned out to be male, and, and I'm going to sort of part with those once they, they get to, to the point of maturing. Um, and I also got a Gramostola Iharengi. Um, that's a female one, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to part with that as well. Um, so I, I'm, I'm trying to make some space for uh, more tarantulas, but I don't know if you can see sort of um, this room was previously sort of an art room that um, has a lot of like that craft stuff and all stuff like that. So the plan is to get rid of all that stuff to get some um, better shelving and put my tarantulas in here um, because I think that there'll be more space for them because um, some of them need rehoming now, be more space. I think the room, because it's a smaller room, will be easier to control at the, to control the temperature. Oh, hi, AR yeah, Tarantulas, how are you? Thanks for drop, dropping in. Are you going to the BTS? Um, if you are, it would be really nice to, to, to say hello. And if you see me, just come up and say hi. Um, so, yeah, so, so that kind of wall there, um, is going to be um, for tarantulas but I do have the option of another couple of walls that I could fill so this wall here this wall here could fit at least three shelving units on it so that's that's the plan um, I always promised my husband that um, I would never get more than I could put on some shelves but yeah put them on shelves as long as I can fit them because I think at the moment they're in the living room and for one it freaks my daughter out completely because she's not keen um, although she does appreciate that I am really careful I'm not sort of reckless with them or anything like that um, oh that's a shame AR yeah, tarantulas that, that would, be, it would be nice to sort of um, meet up with you um, and sort of see how, the, see how the cockroaches are doing and things so um so yeah um so that's kind of the plan um i want to pick up when i'm down there i want to pick up some decent size um enclosures at the moment i've got 44 i think 40 40 yeah 44 um but yeah <laughs> that's not gonna stay like that i don't think no because a lot of them are slings uh, or juveniles, they're getting to put towards the point of juveniles, but um, but yeah, so I want to pick up some enclosures, so I want a really nice sort of, I'm trying to go off towards the showcase type for the Parahai banner, because I really want something sort of that is kind of, you know how like you have a fish tank in the middle of the room with a really nice um, like um, setup I suppose, there's, I've seen um, some DD reptiles um, do some fantastic displays, like um, with sort of lots of cork bark and stuff. So that's on my list. Um, I'm going to try and find some more interesting feeders um, because I was really, I really loved the ones that um, you use, cat that were the um, hornworms, the green ones. Um, I don't think they're legal here. I don't think we're allowed to get them, but I would like some silkworms. Um, 
So I think that would be quite good because I do have a couple of tarantulas who would just, it doesn't matter what prey item I drop in, they're terrified of me. Um, so um, something that's slow moving that I can leave in for a little while that's not going to um, cause any damage to them or anything. Um, not crickets. I hate crickets. I can't stand, I hate the noise. I hate this. Oh, they smell so bad. They, they're awful. So yeah, so not, not those. But I might pick up some beetle grubs. Although I do plan to sort of um, have some beetles in in a um, bioactive enclosure. So with I don't know about real plants, but maybe sort of slow growing plants. What I'd really like, but I, I certainly can't do it now. But once I get moved into this room, I probably could um, deal with that better. Would be I'd really like a crab, like you know the the Halloween crabs or the yeah. They, I love them when they eat. They're so cute. I just, oh, I just, they're just adorable. So I really, really like those. Wow, you've eaten um, silkworms. That's wow. That's bizarre. My brother-in-law's wife. He's is from Thailand, um, but I can't imagine him eating anything that um, doesn't isn't come from a cow. Or from a potato, so yeah, it's um. But yeah, so I'm hoping. I don't know whether I will be able to pick up any of those. I've got um a fairly decent size um. Dubia colony, um I did have um. Um. The red runner cockroaches, but. They scared me more than the tarantulas because I was terrified they were going to escape because they look so much like sort of the traditional cockroaches and like you can just imagine your neighbours freaking out if sort of they turned out and found one of those in the in in the room and I know that people say that well they wouldn't survive but in the summer they probably would um, and I don't add any additional heat into mine so and they survive all right there so. So I think I'm I'm gonna try and avoid that and pick up some different kind of feeders. I'm not keen on the big um, moria worms. I don't like the fact that they bury, and I worry about them sort of eating my tarantula if I'm not able to find one. I did have to um, clear out my um, grammar stall, one of my my largest grammar stall of pulchra because one buried itself in there. And I couldn't find it without actually digging the whole thing up. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not keen on repeating that um, that experience. But I'd also like some mantids. Some mantids. Um, they seem really they seem really nice. It's a bit disappointing that they don't live very long. Um, but well, I suppose they are what they are, aren't they? So, um, but I love the way they they hunt. Why, how the sort of their, their their eyes are just following the the prey. That's just awesome. Really good. Um, I'm not particularly tempted by any true spiders, um, as yet. Although, um, I understand, and I could correct me if I'm wrong. Whether the bump is it the bumper caboclo? No, not that one. It's not that one. The um. Insee gold or the insee um, species. I think, am I right in thinking that they're true spiders but they just look like tarantulas? I, I, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, but yeah, so um, that that that's pretty interesting. But as I say, because I, I've not been there before, I don't really know how big the place is. Um, I understand there's going to be a lot more people there than there were at the Huddersfield show. Um, I think there's a lot of people come from abroad. Um, and I don't know how what the parking's like because if we're picking up big enclosures, then I'd like to be able to sort of get in the car park and make sure that we can um, sort of easily carry the stuff um, backwards because you don't want to be carrying um, all that stuff kind of around. Um, so yeah, um, I wanted to pick up some cork bark because I, I was tempted to um, get some from um, 
the internet and it has like sort of a weight and it looked a really good price but I was talking to um, Lee Arden from uh, from uh, Spider Shop who I've had most of my tarantulas from there they're fan absolutely fantastic um, sellers uh, and they're hard to go past if you've got what you win if you've got what I want in stock I wouldn't go out anywhere else but um, I ha I, that's not to say that there aren't lots and lots of other good traders that, that I'm hoping to encounter when um, I'm there especially um, I'm not sure whether um, oh, I'm trying to think what they're called um, they're from Poland um, but they've got a really really good reputation so I'm hoping that they I think they were there last year and I think they were at seas um, although I haven't been to that one that's one's just kind of too far away um, so yeah to see what they've got because I think sometimes they have some things that are really hard uh, to come to come by I'm not I, I'm not really bothered about um, don't get, that's not maybe it's not the right word I really like the porkies really really like them they're so oh the, the colors and that are fantastic but I don't feel I'm I don't feel I'm experienced enough to deal with something that's that fast that's arboreal yet um I'm still it's only kind of a year and a half I think since I, I was terrified so it, I'm still a year and a half into not having that fear so I think I'll I'll sort of plan on leaving that a little bit longer and maybe progress to um to the sort of the more defensive um new world because there's still a lot of new worlds that sort of the 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 genuses that I haven't gone into so um like Pamphobetus um and Formictopus so I'm kind of going to have a look at those. Um, I'm not sure about the Cancerides because I think it's just a bit of a brown spider. But um, the Fumic the um, the Pamphobetus, oh, they they're really nice. I really really like those. Um, but it it would have to be female. I don't want to um, go for anything that's not that's not female because I have no intention of breeding. Um, I don't think um, I could bear to see male spider get eaten so when mine mature if I haven't sold them beforehand then I'm just going to put them out either on loan sell them or go 50-50 with someone um so <laughs> yeah but I'm I'm not I'm not in the rush to to get into the old world so there's plenty of time for that um I want to sort of um have plenty of experience with um, sort of rehouse and fast ones and all that kind of stuff and as I say because it's not like I didn't have a fear before maybe if I didn't have that fear things would probably be different but because I did have the fear what what I don't what the thing that scares me and it still kind of scares me about house spiders is if I'm startled by them so um I don't want to um get get anything that's sort of that's going to be sort of really fast or really quick yet. Um, as I say, this, that I feel there's still plenty of, of sort of um, ones for, for me to discover. Um, and as I say, there are an awful lot of um, breeds that, that are sort of the ones that you don't see very often um, of the new worlds that, that I'd rather sort of um, work with there, maybe some, some of the rarer ones. Um, but yeah, I'm, is it, just see what what's there. As I say, I'm quite keen on um, the the bioactive kind of thing, um, and have um, beetles, millipedes, um, some various types of cockroaches. One thing I won't be touching is a centipede because they scare the pants off me. <laughs> I I just don't want to have one of those in, in the house. <laughs> But um, but your scorpions, scorpions, I think, yeah, because are they? I like the way they eat. I like how they hold the. It's like eating a hot dog. It's really cute. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Costa Rican tiger one, but mine's is a pet hall. I never see it. So 
it really it was a bit of a waste of money because all I'm doing is looking at a hole in the ground. So, um, but I, I know what you mean. I've got a Bracopalmy um Kallenbergi that's a swine, and it's it's mean. <laughs> um, so he's gonna go. Um, he's confirmed male. He's he's gonna go. Um, once he matures. But um, but yeah. So as I say, that that's kind of my plan uh, for the BTS. If you, I don't want. I, 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 I said I didn't think this video was going to be too long. Um, I'm going to try and do. Uh, I've got three molds that I've got now. Um, my uh, Brachypelmo Anitha, um, as known uh, Smith, well Smithy, as was Anitha, um, has molted. Um, my LP has molted. Confirmed male. That's why I'm wanting a female one. And my um, uh, Brachypelmy albopalosum has molted um, again com that's a confirmed female and she's so fluffy so I hope to get some video of of them along with some fiends although none of them seem to I, I don't know whether what's going on but none of them really seem to be interested in eating at the moment so it's uh, been it's quite hard to try and um, find a video but I do have quite a few that need rehousing so I'm hoping to pick up some um, 0 0.7 litre um, rubs the really useful boxes while I'm there um, just to sort of move them into something while um, I focus on um, getting some some getting this cleared out and getting some proper tanks um, I do want to pick up as I say a, a small arboreal glass one so I don't know whether spider shop will have that or whether customer custom aquatics will have um, have one available um, for that so Hopefully they will. I don't know whether you have to order them in advance. And as I say, this is the thing that when you haven't been before, um, then I'm not quite sure. Um, so, so yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. I think I was saying about the. I can't remember what I was saying about the cock bark, but um, I'd seen some. Uh, I need to get pick up some cock bark tubes. Um, and I'd seen where you can get them quite reasonable online. But when I was talking to Lee Arden about it, he was saying. Um, that you'll what tends to happen is what they'll do is it's just one piece and it's really really thick and it's like a canoe so I'm not keen on that I just want sort of the thin um, ones I can easily break that make um, houses for um, or dens for um, the tarantulas I've got because I, I don't like really like the look of um, of the pots um, but I think to have the um, to use the cock back, it's it. I need to have really containers that have more substrate in, so that there's more room for them to bury filled. So, and the cock back will support the um, support the, the the sort of the uh, substrate that the that they pull out. Um, so that's about all I wanted to share with you. As I say, when I come back from the BTS, I'm hoping that I'll have a a sort of a nice rehousing video for based on on what I've got and I certainly will share my purchases with you so keep a look out for that um hopefully um I'm, I think I'm four off the 250 um subscriber um count so I will be doing a tarantula giveaway and uh, for that I don't know what I'll be giving away yet because I haven't bought it from the BTS bought them from the BTS but there will definitely be two and they'll be going to one person so if you want to um, if you haven't subscribed um, subscribe to keep an eye out for that um, and um, th there'll be details further on either on Instagram um, and on the Facebook page and I'll probably put um, details on um, on actual YouTube itself. Um, so, oh, thank you, the Tarantula King. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the BTS. As I say, if you're there and you see me, um, come and say hello. Um, I, I would really, really like that because I could talk about uh, tarantulas to people for hours. And if not tarantulas, video games. If you want to talk about video games, then go, come and see me because I can talk for hours about those. <laughs> oh hi Mark. Um, nice to see you. Um I'm just saying uh I understood oh 
oh, hopefully, um, I think I understand that you're going to the BTS mark, and um, it's a transfer cave if you're there, then um, I'm hoping to see you there. Um, I'd be interested to hear what you have on your list um, to pick up. Um, I haven't got a huge list yet, but I am very, very good at buying impulse stuff. Um, as I say, I've never been before, so um, I'm going the night before. I'm staying in the Holiday Inn, so I'll definitely be at the um, at the pre-show at the pre-show. Yeah, the pre-show drinks. But as I say, because I don't really know anybody, I've never sort of met anybody before. It's um, it's it's quite um. It's quite scary, so it'll be nice to see some friendly faces that um, that who at least I know who they are, rather than um, who haven't met me. So um, so yeah, um, I'll I'll um, if I see you, I'll say hi, and if you see me first, then just do the same. Um, I'm so excited for it. It's gonna be great. Um, my husband is not absolutely. Um, I don't think he's thrilled about it, but at the end of the day, I went to a classic car show for him, and um, so he's doing this for me. Um, it's the same mainly because I, I don't really know anybody. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I I'm I'm interested in a mounted, but I've never had one before, so I'm kind of worried that I'd kill it off. <laughs> but um, I know there's lots of videos there that um, that um, show you how to look after them so uh, hopefully that um it'll not be too bad and hopefully i'll get something that's a fair size that is not too um breakable <laughs> yeah as i say he he he's interested in them and i was really impressed that he was watching who wants to be a millionaire and he's obviously le he's obviously listened to something because there was a question on about um what kind of animal is a david bowie it has a species called david bowie and he knew that was a spider but uh so yeah i was quite impressed with that so yeah so if you want to talk about football talk to my husband if you want to talk about classic cars talk to him if you want to talk about video games or spiders then talk to me so <laughs> but it'll be great to see you um as I say, anybody who's watching this, come and say hello. I would really love it. And I'd especially love a selfie. Um, that would be really nice. That would really sort of make my day um, to get a selfie with some people that um, that I've, I've sort of met and I'm friends with on Facebook. Uh, sorry, that I've seen, that I'm friends with on Facebook that I've talked to, but I've never actually met. So that would be really nice. Anyway, um, I think that, that's about it. Um, thanks very much for um, coming along. I will catch you after the BTS with and, and share with you what I've purchased and also um, when we do the rehousing of them. So hope to see you, hope to catch you online soon and take care. Bye.